Hey there, it's Emily at Art with Albright. Glad you could join me for the lesson on this flamingo. I uh, just went to the Houston Zoo and they have some amazing flamingos there. My daughter and I fell in love and we couldn't leave them, so I had to draw one and share it with you. So grab your pencil, grab your stomp, and a good eraser. My my perfect eraser, my perfect friend, is a white eraser. I don't like the ones that have the ooey gooey red red ends to to blend you know make that smudgy yuck stuff all over my art so i uh, hope you have a good art kit and you're ready to draw today i'm just going to use a piece of cardstock um, to draw on um, you can use your art journal i prefer the the nice spiral journals um, if you're a young artist i really prefer that you get a smaller um, journal maybe a five by seven five by eight um, because it's really hard for a young person to fill all that space, okay? So when you're drawing, um, don't try to make huge art um, on that big piece of paper, but draw something smaller. Do you like my mouse? My mouse decided to eat the toilet paper tube out of the trash, and then he's sleeping in it. So I think I startled him and woke him up. So he's there. What about my otters? I saw them at the Houston Zoo. The otters are so happy and just are good companions. Oh, my teenage son was grumpy the other day, so I had to draw um, the seven dwarf grumpy. <laughs> what do you think? And I had a little fun with um, some Disney characters, and I challenged myself and got outside my box, and I drew this wrinkly, um, I think he's happy, but he could be a grumpy um, alligator or is he a crocodile I don't know what do you think that's a good question and then again as my my teenage son is grumpy and my teen daughters are grumpy I had to do this little penguin with a little bit of an attitude boom 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 so um, all that to say get a good journal good hardback journal <laughs> see I can I can make my way back around to the point um, this is my hardback journal goes with me everywhere so if you see me you know I've got my journal hopefully I've got my journal so let's get started I'm going to look at my paper and find out my placement where do I want my um, my flamingo standing so I'm going to start with the body and if you know me you know I like to start out with the basic shapes so when you look at an animal or an object you know right away you could draw it by the basic shape so we're just going to draw real light, real loose um, to start our shape. There's the body. And then at the front of the body, we're going to have a very long, skinny neck. Okay, right there. Figure out how long you want it. And then just draw a circle on top of that. See how sloppy my artwork is right now? So be impressed with yourself. You can be an amazing artist. Um, if you can learn to build your character, okay? You can look at something and go, I can draw that because I can draw shapes. So from here, we have a wing. We're going to draw a nice L right here. And then for the legs, we're going to look down the middle of the body, go forward just a little, and we're going to have the back leg here. And then coming out, this one's going to be standing on one foot. And I noticed at the zoo that their legs go backwards. So instead of our leg going down and back, theirs goes forward. I was so kind of just taken aback by that because as an artist, that did not compute with my brain. So um, here we have our basic um, elements of, let's put the beak on there, put that beak on there. Okay, so we've got our basic guidelines. It gives us a general idea of what we want. Okay? Hey, do you think you're hot stuff? Look at that. You are hot stuff. It's all about birds today. Do I have any more birds over here? No. But I have a giraffe. I saw a giraffe at the zoo. He was coming at me. And he got really big. And it was scary. <laughs> It's okay. He didn't do anything to me. 
Okay, so now we have the body. Um, this body, I'm going to pull this down right here. We're going to start making this more of a, a flamingo shape than just basic shapes. And the back comes up a little and down like this. Okay, are you with me? Did I lose you at all? You are welcome to pause me um, or watch and then go back and then draw with me. So that way you understand. But I hope you are going to try and draw this flamingo. I would love to see your flamingo on my Facebook page um, at Art with Albright um, or, or uh, check my uh, website out at artwithallbright.com. So now we're going to work on the tail. Grab your eraser and take out all these scribbly lines that we started with. They were awesome, but we don't need those anymore. So the tail is going to come down the back. We're just going to give some, some overlapping feathers right here. Kind of looks weird, but just hang with me, and we will make this awesome. Okay, so there we have the basic shape. And let's go up the neck. We're going to we're going to have it coming with uh, from the body going up this one's going to come down we're going to add a little um, Adam's apple right there ta-da and let's erase this little line in here because we want it to go in the body like this okay awesome look at you you're drawing a flamingo too cool ah the shark is coming what's he doing ah He's so happy you're here. This is exciting. I love to draw with friends. I love to draw with friends. So for the head, let's pull these out on the sides right here and come around and make it more of a head shape. Okay, we're using that circle as a guide. Okay, now the beak. We have marked right here the beak. I like the length of that. Let's pull it down in the front as you know, they've got those those big um, scooping where they go upside down with their head and they fish for, um, I don't know, sea creatures, water creatures, all kinds of things in the water for them to eat. I'm not sure what their names are, all the things that they eat. I wish my daughter was here. She knows everything animals. That kid, she watches all the animal planet anybody could possibly endure. So the bottom of the beak, we scoop. Scoop it the opposite direction. Go, go down and up. And bring that back. And uh, let's stop right there though. Because that's where the face is. Okay, you got it with me? You're there? Now for the beak, I'm going to start putting in details. So I'm going to darken it. So when you see me darkening things, that means we're putting in the details. Okay, right there. Now the end, I want a reflective dot, so I'm going to put a nice oval right there, and then I'm going to darken that in. Because the tips on some of the flamingos, the one I fell in love with had a really dark tip at the end of the beak. Now I know there's all kinds of flamingos, so if you don't want to color yours in, that's fine. Your art, you, you decide. Um, love to see variation and a variety. You can do it. Now for his hair, we're going to use some nice zigzags. And I want his hair to spike over, flop it over the front of his head. So then the back is just going to go zigzag down. Give him some, give him some personality. Give him some texture. Now the eye, I want to make the, hair, the feathers, I was going to say hair, but they don't really have hair. Feathers come and meet the beak. And then the eye, I'm going to put an L slanted down because that helps me mark where I want my eye. So then you can put an oval inside that L. Let's put a reflective dot at the top and then color that in. You like that? Let me zoom in and see if you can see that better. Oh, that's so good. Okay, my camera's not that great on that, but we'll zoom out. <laughs> it's not that helpful. Okay, so now we're going to just texture down. I'm just going to scribble down, give it some some wiggly lines there. Oh, excuse me, my screen's leaving me. Going down, and for the feathers, let's make some big zigzags. 
Okay, let's accentuate this. Big, big, big. Because these are big feathers back here. And go all the way around. Oh, don't go through that leg. And there we are. Much better. Now from here, let's put some feathers right above the leg. That leg's going to come down. Make sure to do two parallel lines. And then back here, we're going to put like a circle or backward letter C right there. Give them that knee joint. And then go forward. And then we're going to drop the foot down. Okay, you need to rewind me. Go right ahead. I'm okay with that. So the foot is just going to be a, a nice little dropping L there. Okay, and then we'll put a, another little leg back behind it. So it gives it some depth. Awesome. This is so much fun. Thank you for drawing with me. This is this is so encouraging. I love to draw with people. I love to teach people how to draw and get your creativity um, out of your head and onto the paper. This is so much fun. So the back leg, let's draw that. I think let's pull it like this. Not so pointed straight, but let's give it a little bit of a curve to it. Oh, we need a knee. I forgot the knee. Let's just do a little bump. Little bitty C right there little bitty C and pull that down okay good 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 is that long enough I, I don't think it's long enough but we'll try so from here we're gonna pull that out and I'm gonna drop down and I'm going to make a nice big hump right there because their feet on the ground look a little weird I'm just not sure about flamingos yet and pull this one back and come down and then you can erase all those lines if you have any like I do. I got I got all my guidelines everywhere, so I gotta go and clean up my mess. It's not really a mess. It was very helpful. Oh no, was any of that on the screen or did I just do that off? Ah that's scary. I don't know, I'm not paying attention to the screen. Okay, well I hope that is. We're gonna come down this way, around and down. Okay, let's darken that in straight out do a bump here and back around and loop it okay all oh, those were really good terms right and then this one behind it we're going to tuck that toe behind it and come back around awesome okay for this tail let's get some feathers darken in these feathers overlapping and then let's give some some texture to this wing we've got the L we've got the L and then we're gonna pull a feather in like this and then another one like this and let's pull one up like this let's have it kind of fanny like a fan turn it this way and then one more like that okay okay that one kind of looks really odd but we're gonna stick with it now what we want to do is some shading i need to zoom out we're just way too close here it's kind of messing with my mind there we go he looks so much better now <laughs> okay so i want to put a little shading anywhere there's overlapping or anywhere there's a less sunlight uh, we want to add some shading so the bottom beak um i my my light source is usually coming from this direction because in my room um, where I draw my light sources is on the right so the left side of the bird needs to have um, some shading so just take your pencil and just lightly go down the, the, the opposite side of the light source and anywhere there's overlapping you want a little bit of um, shading going on so I'm gonna shade where there's overlapping and in between these feathers, I'm going to give some, some illusion of depth there. Okay, good job. I hope you're enjoying this. I'd love for you to share this video with a friend. Share it with um, all your school buddies that are off for the summer. And teach them how to draw. So here we have um, on the ground, let's put a little bit of shading coming down. Uh, this one's casting a shadow, but you really can't see uh, right there, the body, a little bit of shadow. 
Uh, let's give it a horizon line up here because there's probably a pond of water somewhere around um, this animal. Now I'm going to grab my stomp and I'm going to blend with it. Now if you don't have a stomp, you can use your finger. You can use um, a Q-tip. Uh, I highly recommend you get a stomp. They're at the, the craft stores, the art stores. Uh, it's just a blending stomp or a tortellone. Um, you can use those too. So what I'm doing is using the graphite on the stomp to blend and you get the graphite by blending. And this is so much fun. Yay! This is a really good use of your time is to learn something new and actually doing it. So if you're just watching, I'm not that entertaining. I mean, come on. You could be drawing with me and having more fun, right? So grab your pencil and draw, draw, draw. Show me your art at Art with Albright on Facebook. Leave a comment below. Let me know you've um, been drawing with me and you enjoy this. I can be more entertaining or less if you'd like. I'm just here for you. So let me know what you, you want to see and what you want to draw. So thank you, friends. And I hope you have a great time drawing. Don't quit. Don't give up. Um, and uh, till next time, keep drawing.